This is the first video in a new chemistry topic where we're going to look at the details of atoms and particles. So previously we've learnt about particles that they're small objects that make up materials. Small objects that make up matter. And previously we've seen that particles can be visible to the human eye. So sand grains, they're a particle, but they're big enough that we can see just by looking at them. But the particles that make up other objects, like the particles making up the glass on the screen of your phone, or the particles in the air, we can't see these because they're so small. And when we zoom in even further inside particles, so if we look inside a sand grain, or we look inside the glass making up your phone, if we keep zooming in, then eventually we will find atoms. So atoms are the smallest particle that make up matter. And that's going to be the focus for this topic. So atoms are the smallest particle making up matter. And we can add some extra detail and say they're the smallest whole particle. Because they are made up of other things, atoms, but for now we'll think of them as one object. So here are some common diagrams of what atoms look like. So we can see that atoms are made up of even smaller objects, but for now we're just going to think of atoms as a simple circle. They're the smallest object that makes up everything, all other matter in the universe. So uh, one more thing to think about is how big actually are atoms? They're definitely too small to be able to see with our eyes. And let's use an example to try and picture it. So if we have just one sheet of paper that you've taken out of your exercise book, if we lie that paper sideways and we look at how thick the paper is, we can just see that with our eyes. And if you measured it, it would be about 0 0.05 of a millimetre. So 20 sheets on top of each other, that makes about one millimetre. But atoms, if we took atoms and stacked them on top of each other, just if we could actually do this, we would have to stack up a million atoms just to make the thickness of one sheet of paper. So one million atoms stacked up only equals 0 0.05 millimetres. The thickness of paper. So atoms are tiny. And this means that scientists who've been studying atoms, which are chemists and physicists, they need to do experiments on things they can't see, which makes it really difficult. But 
through the last few hundred years, we've been able to figure out a lot about atoms, even though we can't actually see them. And that's what we'll be learning about in the rest of this topic.